<laughs> I'm super excited, dudes. All right. So some quick background. This is Star Trader's Frontiers, made by the Treese Brothers. Now, the Treese Brothers made a whole bunch of mobile uh, turn-based RPGs, and I've played them all. I love these devs. They did... Uh, my first game that I got of theirs was Star Traders, and I played their, played all their other games after I played that. This, like, it was a great game. It was so much fun to play. It had surprising depth for a mobile title. I put dozens of hours into it. Like, it's really easy to get lost in and just go exploring this huge open map and seeing all the planets and getting in all kinds of things and then dying horribly because the game, it was a roguelike. So once your captain was killed, you know that was it. And, uh, you know, I, oh, I played out whole narratives in my mind, like, playing out these huge stories of being a ship captain, and I'm super excited, because this is their first foray into the PC genre. This is uh, the sequel to Star Traders, although I, I don't even know if it counts as a sequel at this point. It's, it's a fully new game, so... Ah, uh, I'm so fucking pumped. The, uh... I mean, let's fucking get to it. I'm super excited. I'm... I'm not normally into, uh, or it's getting good reviews is what makes me so happy because they're the type of devs that are extremely responsive to both criticism and bugs and other performance issues. So it, it just makes me happy that I'm not going to be disappointed by this. I'm just going to go in and fucking, you know, of course I'm going to make a brand new captain. So let's see what we get here. All right. So here we go. All right. Presumably, one year ago, I became a star captain. I wonder if it's different for every clan. I abandoned my life as a grab and took the stars. I'm the master of my ship. I answer to no one except my officers and crew. In the void, we live by the unique code of the Star Traders. We make our own way among the stars. We stay alive and take care of the ship no matter what. The life of the spacer is a hard one. My officers have my back. And together we face the void. Oh, pardon me. Need to, uh... Mute this tab real quick. Oh, what the fuck happened? Oh, okay. That's interesting. It doesn't show up in my tab. Captain, we've reached a stable orbital trajectory over Paradiso. Should we engage the void engine? Let the engines rest. We need a minute for the council. Officers gather around. You all heard the message that I received at the starport today. The Zenrin Prince has requested that we transport a Zendu Arbiter to his system. He is willing to pay handsomely, it seems. Speak your minds. Captain, the woman is an Arbiter. She may be one of the most dangerous people in the galaxy, but also one of the most powerful. It also means she is of Zendu bloodline, like the Templars. It is rare that a Star Trader Captain is called on to help an Arbiter. This Estelle Brookstorm could be a valuable ally. I've heard said that she. Uh, I've heard said that working for a Zendu can be both a curse and a blessing. She claims she only needs a short lift across the quadrant. This pay would be good. There is much to consider. Your thoughts are appreciated. Dismissed. I'm a reasonable leader. Oh, maybe I should turn on. Uh, hang on a sec. I need to put my phone in. If I can reach a single one of these cords that have been... Come on. There we go. Alright. Pardon me. I'll edit this out later. I don't want to take a whole bunch of time. Obviously, maximize gameplay. Should one take the chance? The Arbiter stands dangerous. The Azamas and these patches to the court. Both she and the Prince could be powerful However, she was to avoid it. Take a look at the door. Point to Arizamas has already been set. I can check my mission list for further details or dismiss the request. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it because why not? It's uh, clear that I'm gonna need to uh, move myself to the probably top right or left of the screen. 
Bam! I'm up here now. Whenever you need to, whenever you need advice, I help with anything. Use console, talk to your officers. Right click the map to move the ship. Left click and drag to pan. Scroll to the map, use the mouse wheel. Then we can set the officer's location. Sail towards the waypoint. Space, click navigate. Okay, interesting. My question is actually, how big is a quadrant? Can't really see. It doesn't give you any indication of what quadrant I'm in. I guess I'll just. Uh... All right. Uh, got some buttons here. All right. Where's the? Uh... So there's a waypoint. Apparently, that one. Uh, got forty thousand credits. Cargo ninety-seven fuel range nineteen AU waypoint. That's familiar. So we'll go ahead and just. This is cool. Prevented short circuit. Oh, that's cool. Emergency power rewound. Explosion. Change fire requirements. Dodge rocket debris. Ice cleared from reactive field generator. Devolto squirrel plot paid for. No doubt. This is cool. So this is the. This should be the quality of the system. Yes. This is the quality of the plan, basically. So that that has. Uh, that's been, well, that's always been a thing, and you could always patrol, blockade, or spy. Those are things you could also do. Uh, it looks, it's functioning more or less. I think the map scale is definitely probably a lot larger than it was in the original. It's functioning more or less like the original game at the moment, with the exception of this. All of these events, this is a lot more events than normally would happen during flight. So a lot more is going on now. It's checking for all these various things, so that's good. Uh, let's see, no contacts, conditions, known rumors, faction politics. So I need to land. We have contacts among the grabs here. So we'll land. Many welcomes, Star Trader. Arbiter Estelle Brockstrom, it is an honor. Indeed, Prince Callaghan Fane promised. He had dispatched a new but promising Star Trader captain. Yeah. New, yes! Promising... We'll see. I understand you have recently come into ownership of your Star Trader's childhood. That is the truth. My great-uncle perished during the exploration expedition last year. I was picked from among my house to take over the charter and fly the stars. Then you know the magnitude of both your responsibility and the opportunity that now rests on your shoulders. Callaghan has asked that you personally escort me to his court. Prince Fane's trust for you is as solid as the bedrock. He knows that Clan Zenrin can count on your staunch and loyal support. This is different. I think the might range, but the only flattery won't be very far from me, Arbiter. Prince Fane's trust is well founded. Callaghan has always been a superb judge of character. I'm sure there will be more work waiting for you at the Prince's court. This is, this is definitely different. I don't like the... This, uh... <laughs> this, this is a very messy conversation window. Uh, it just... It just is... Not very pleasant to look at, and I don't see why these have to be across the screen from each other, honestly. Just listing them in the dialogue window would be fine. But, you know, whatever. That's a gripe. That's a little, that's a little thing. As long as it functions, it doesn't really matter right now. Games in early access, by the way. It came out last month. Been in development for years. So, so about the specific of this exploration. mission. What work were you doing on this world? I don't care. Come aboard, we can work out specifics later. Let's talk specifics of this escort mission. I need passage to the court of Prince Payne. Direct passage, as I'm in a hurry. I will offer a flat fee of 10,000 credits for the passage. It is better money than you'll get elsewhere for intra quadrant travel. What do you say? We accept. Welcome aboard, Arbiter. Excellent. I will join you shortly in the starport. We'll be promptly on arrival in Callaghan's world. Accept a mission on behalf of Arbiter Brockstrom. We should finish any business we have in the zone and plot a course using the mission list. They're making something useful in all these factories. Well, obviously, if they're factories, then they're probably useful. Efficient and safe landing only costs one fuel. Okay, so fuel can 
cost more fuel. Uh, let's see, 18 is kind of okay, so that's just more information. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. No fuel needed to make a hyper warp jump. More crew members are ready to level either. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch. Lunch, let's go ahead and lunch, and uh, we'll start the mission as soon as I figure out how. I uh, don't see any new buttons telling me to get up off the planet, so... Wait, uh, there it is, okay, return to orbit. Navigate back one screen, map crew status. Interesting. Uh, it seems to... <laughs> Uh, okay, it just says it's not supposed to say shipping crew there. Okay, that's fine. So box is blacking out. Okay, so let's go to the uh, uh I wonder if I can get me uh right. Our water fuel reserves are at 155, 195. Okay, so each so we do have our own fuel tanks now, like ships have a fuel tank. Six of the going rate for a unit. Oh wow, so it's really cheap here. Yeah, I'll pay that. Uh, it used to be that fuel would take up inventory space, so you had to strike this. Uh, you had to strike this balance between how much you were carrying, uh, how much fuel you were carrying, and how much weapons you were willing to transport and provisions for the crew and things like that. It did create a delicate balance, and you had to pay close attention and learn your ship a little bit. So, I guess it does make sense. In it doesn't really make sense in a practical way because obviously your ship is going to have its own fucking fuel tank you're not going to have car you're going to be taking up cargo space with fucking fuel that's the whole point of having a fuel tank so while i do i did like the old uh let's see what can, I, what can i build here or what can i buy here uh while i do i did like the old balance i will appreciate this a lot more i don't even know what kind of weapons i actually have <sighs> Alright, so missiles. Let's see. Place component. Permit mass, max mass. Okay, so I won't be able to do this because my mass is already a max I can't support any upgrades. So let's go ahead and uh, roll out, I guess. I've noticed your officers and crew giving me sideways looks since I've settled in here. As a Zendu, I'm used to it, but perhaps I can answer some questions to help settle your people. It's not easy to impress this lot. Well, I'm Zendu, but I never know. Not sure what I expected from a Zendu Arbiter. Perhaps you expected an Arbiter to be larger, faster, and overtly dangerous. If you listen to the stories about Arbiters over the Spice Plate, you would, I think. Or you would, I think. Huh. I'd probably also be able to kill you without moving my arms. I see you know how sailors can get enough... Can... I see you know how sailors can get... Okay. So you know how sailors can get with enough Spice Beer. There could be some commas where there's... Sh... I think there should be a comma there. Good shot of spice and they'll spin tails for days. But what makes my kind special is not physical strength or speed, ability to access our encoded genetic memories, Captain. All Zendu, the augurs, the arbiters, and the Templars share a special genetic mutation. To see, hear, and experience memories passed down to us by our interest. Huh. How far can you look back in your memories? Many rich memories to those. Uh, not of Zendu blood. You did offer to answer questions. I would be interested to hear you try. I don't remember a time before the memories. They start when we Zendu are young. We strengthen our recall through meditation, pattern, exercise, and ritual. And subconscious muscle memory is always guiding my hand or step. My visual remembrances and voices come forward of their own accord, trying to consciously look back, seeking something as difficult. 
digging for something, trying to remember the guild war, for example, that could be pretty dangerous, but my lineage is always there. That's kind of genuinely interesting. There wasn't a lot of plot in the first game, like, it, it's, it's established a very good setting and it very vividly described all of the, you know, places you could visit. All the, every station had its own individual description, it was very detailed. And uh, it's nice that they've included this kind of thing. Let's see. We all have important work to be doing. We will get you to Prince Fane promptly, Arbiter. Yes, we will. So, we need to find the mission screen. Right. Current missions. There we go. Okay. Uh, waypoint. Plotted route. X. So, 15 AU to waypoint. Simple enough. What's that? What is that? Am I about to hit it? I'm about to hit it. Okay, nothing, never mind. Bulkhead failure, vents compartment. That sucks. Avoided airlock accident. Yada yada. Okay, so. I, okay, so I can look at what went wrong. The ship suffers three component damage. Crew takes five hits for up to ten damage each. So where's my crew? Uh, wait, I can look at my status. This is pretty cool. I also like that it gives you a, a top-down view of the ship, because that's relatively uh, almost nostalgic. It's been a long time since I've played those games. You can only explore so much of the original game before you just kind of run out of things to look at. So it's kind of it does feels good. I like this. I like this a lot. All of your crew members have their own faces and names. That's definitely new. So, uh, so they all took a little bit of a hit. Some of them more than others. Presumably, I'll be able to maintain that health somehow. So, I'll go back to the map. And I'll go ahead and land. What are these buttons? Okay, so those are information buttons. Those are not. Those are not clickable. It's just there to to tell you what you can do. Go. Sure, we want to land here, Captain. Yeah. Why not? Oh, and they have multiple ports. That's also new. So, which one would we be going to? I'm sure, I have to go to one of these. Let's count the ports on landers. They didn't tell me anything. I'll just go to the capital. I'll assume the prince is at the capital. Deeds of our people will echo in the memories of the quadrant. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, so... Now what? Uh, do I look here? Okay, here we go. Looks like they've rolled out the red carpet for you, Arvin. I think that is for Callaghan, but it has the effect. Estelle! Yours is a face to warm, tired eyes. And Captain, many welcomes. Thank you for escorting Estelle here safely. Greetings from the stars, Prince Fane. I did not expect such pomp at the start. We've all been waiting for your arrival, Estelle. This mess is progressing. It has sped up, not lost steam. We have much to discuss, such as Belial, the Lord of Lies. Let us retire to the palace. Star Trader, you earned my gratitude. I have high-paying work for a captain of your caliber. Come and visit my court once you've settled everything with your ship and crew. Thank you, Prince Vane. We may take you upon that offer. We've gained a moderate experience aboard. 120 XP across the crew. We have gained 5 rep with Clan Zeneron, 10 rep. Prince Callaghan Fane. And, and off they go. The prince seems very intent on getting Arbiter's... on getting Arbiter Brockstorm's assistance. Captain, the Prince of Starport Commander has paid us our 10,000 as promised and a 2,000 bonus to boot. Hold up. One Fane has stuck around. Many welcome, Star Trader. 
It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Zet Fane, the prince's sister. Let me extend. Sister? How old are you? Let me extend my brother's warmest welcome. None of these are really questions that I'd want to ask. More or less, I'm thinking, what the fuck do you want? Like, why are you talking to me right now? But okay. What is the legal case that rocks from... See, this is a little bit inconsistent because I never asked that question, so I wouldn't have this knowledge, but we'll say okay. The bombing of the high wind military order? Surely Estelle told you about this. I didn't ask. Is it a Rykar research facility? I have heard of it in passing. It was. Estelle must have told you. Uh, well, she didn't. Because I didn't uh... Caligan's daughter, Valencia, has been charged with the terrorist act of destroying the highway. Caligan's... the prince's daughter? Damn. Which is completely ridiculous. She went aboard the station for scientific meeting. What idiot would plan a bomb at the same time? Not Val. But Estelle hasn't spoken with you about it. You really don't know? That the Arbiter is not going to help. Did she say anything like that? I, I didn't ask. She should have helped I don't remember. By the pit, that's useless, Doctor. Why don't you talk to her yourself, bitch? Don't make a habit and a prying into bad passengers' business. This is no time to be playing nice, Doctor. Why not? I am unassuming. If you're going to get involved in this, you'd better stop crying. I don't. I don't. This is not a legal battle you can stand to lose. The loss of life at the Highland alone. They will demand Valencia's life and retribution. You don't feel like crying. No, I don't. Just like the Void, retribution justice has no mercy. If the damages are great enough, Rikar could be granted a duel of assassins against Valencia Fane, personally. I hope you'll keep your ears open for me, Star Trader. Come to the palace. My brother has work for you. Yes, he mentioned that. Shit, I don't like you already. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, she could die. Ugh, you're not going to pry. No. No. I was basically a space taxi. Shit. Get on my case. Bitch, I'll knock your ass out, boy. What you talking about all this shit? I have no time for this. No time at all. Give me that delicious water fuel. It's even cheaper here. Oh. I hesitate to wonder what it's going to be like when I find out, like, we go galactic average. I'm going to find a station where it's like $25 per fucking gallon. Well, it's not really a gallon, but you know what I mean. Which would suck, because this would be in the thousands. It would be uh, pretty costly to refuel at that point. So obviously we're going to repair. Which is very cheap, no big deal. Not a whole lot of damage done. So, right, I don't know why I did that. Oh shit. Oh, no, no dear. There we go. There we go. Spice all. Spice all that the hubs of information referee room is in news. It does not take long to hear the local reports. Keep an ear open in the hall, and you're sure to hear something. Alright, so, pay wages. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, cool. Sweet. Recruits. I don't think I have any crew space to recruit then, so obviously I can't uh, recruit them. Oh, and they have different functions. Ah, oh, so nice. It used to be they would just be, gen like, every sailor would just in. And you would go into a place and be like, well, I lost like five dudes in the last attack. So you just hire five dudes if they happen to be at the spice hall. Now they have their own individual functions. And that explains this here. So uh, that's that's really nice. I like that. And it's making good use of the, the, the platform. Because obviously the piece, you know, a PC has a lot of room of room for that kind of complexity. Uh, you can do a lot of a lot on a PC 
and have this big, nice, colorful interface and not have to worry too much about taking up huge, you know, taking up screen space or making things inefficiently. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, and that's why I was so, that's why I was so excited that they were making this for PC. Now, what I didn't think was that it was going to come to PC and that it wasn't coming to mobile. Now, I don't know if it's still not going to mobile, but I can't see this game in its current state. You know, it, need, it does need, well, obviously it needs a little bit of just moving stuff around. But it does seem very big, even for a mobile game. So we'll see if it comes out to mobile. I know it, I haven't seen it release. I haven't checked, actually, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't think it's, don't think it's out for mobile yet. So the Spice Hall, putting the bill in no low enough morale, need a visit to the Spice Hall. It's a good sign they like you, Captain. Good. But I do have some injured personnel, so let's pay out. There we go. Everyone is healthy, but it's good standard. Good work, Captain. Thank you. All right. Very good. I am thoroughly enjoying the shit out of this. It it feels and plays like the original, but better in literally every single way. Like it's a perfect sequel so far, and I'm really enjoying it. It's obviously got some bugs. Uh, it's got some misplaced things. It's got some poorly just. Well, the one poorly designed element I found, everything else seems pretty good, passable. Uh, but like, otherwise, it just improves upon every facet of the original game. Uh, you know, I implore you to go play the original Star Traders. You can, you know, it's good, but if you don't want to, but I'm telling you, if you don't want to go back and play the original game, if you want to just skip straight through this, you're not missing anything by not playing the original game. This is not so much a sequel as it is, you know, a... a I don't really know the right word for it. It's not an expansion, it's not a... It's a sequel in the sense that it's another game in the series, but it does not continue the first game. So you can buy this game and play this not having missed anything. And it seems to be doing a good job of establishing various plans, although obviously there's some inconsistencies with the conversation systems specifically, which I may... Uh, which I'll definitely mention in my review. Bring it to their attention, you know? Maybe, it's, maybe nobody's said anything yet. I know this game doesn't have a huge, huge following behind it, especially since it's been so long since the last game. You might be wondering why I'm rambling right now, it's because uh, I have a phone call to make. I can't, I don't want to be on here, you know, for a bajillion hours. I mean, I do want to be on here for a bajillion hours to just play the shit out of this, but for now, uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I will absolutely be continuing, and I would like my entire first playthrough as this particular captain to be a Let's Play series, and I will try, I'll do my damnedest not to play this game without making episodes to continue. It. So, uh, this will be first episodic Let's Play that I've done in a while. So, I'll see you in the next video, and I greatly look forward to doing more of this game.